Hello guys, welcome to another session. In this session, we are going to look into how to manage hyperlinks in HTML5. So in this aspect, let's look into the topics. What are the topics we are going to cover in this session? So in this session, we are going to look into how to create HTML hyperlink. We will also look into how to access those links. After that, we will look into how we can fragment a HTML page and then we will access the fragmented portion of an HTML page through hyperlink. And at last, we will also look into how we can use an image as an hyperlink. So let's jump into the Visual Studio code to get our hands dirty. So we are into Visual Studio code, but prior to writing any exercise, so what is hyperlink? In a very simple term, an hyperlink is a navigation navigational element of a web page that you can use to navigate from one page to another page as well as one site to another site. So now we understand that hyperlink definition. Let's create it. So in this exercise, we are going to create two HTML pages. From the first page, we will navigate to the second page using the hyperlink. And then again, we will come back from second page to first page using the hyperlink. So let's do this exercise. So we need two pages. First page, we are going to name it as first.html and the second page we are going to give it a name called second.html now from the first page we will generate the html5 code so how we can do that we will use the snippet we use this snippet for 5 and it will generate a html document detail you can tell that first page same for the second here you can also use the snippet enter we can tell it and give it a name we are going to give it a name called second page it's a title now we will go to the first page to create a hyperlink what you need to do you need to use an anchor tag so here we have an anchor tag and here we need to specify the href the location so we are going to specify the location and that is going to be our second.html and we need to specify over here the title so we will give it a name the second HTML page and here we need to specify what text you want to display I want to display visit second page this is done we will use the same example for the second and here we will specify that and we will tell that visit post.html and here you can write return to first page once you do this save it now save this one as well now let's run it right click it copy path go to the browser so we are into a browser and here we will paste it and then you will find that visit second page the title which we have provided the text which we have provided in between of the anchor tag you should click on this so it will take us to the first to the second page you see your second.html now if you will click on return to first page so it will take us to the first page see here so this way we can create the hyperlink now let's proceed further and let's look into the topic what are the topic we are having now now the next topic we are having accessing links so hyperlink can be accessed through three ways the first way we have seen that is using the pointer so this is my mouse pointer if you click over here and you it will take you to the other page the other way is the tab if I will click on tab and here it got selected and we need to click on enter button then it will take us to that place but we have third way as well where we need to specify the access key and if we will press alt plus that access key so it will take us to the respective page so let's assign an access key to the hyperlink so let's jump into the visual studio code so here you need to specify access key and we will specify one and for the same we can go to the second dot html and there also we will specify access key and here you can specify two now let's jump into the browser let's refresh it over here now we have refreshed it now i'm not using the pointer i'm clicking on alt key and the number one so see here it is taking us to the second dot html i haven't used the mouse now again here I have assigned access key to we can click alt key and to so it will take us to the first page so this is the third way by which you can access the web page using access key now let's proceed further and see the topic so now we will understand that how we can refer or say link within the same HTML page so let's go into the Visual Studio code and understand it so to understand hyperlinking to the page fragment let's create a new file call it page fragment HTML and here we will generate an HTML document so we will use the snippet and here we can delete it as it is not needed here we can specify 
page fragment hyper demo so let me write the html and then i will explain you you can use the same file to execute it or else you can write by your own so here i have written the code and if you will look into the browser and you will get the following output if you will look into the browser then you will get this output copy the path first and then go to the browser then here you are not getting much difference if you will click also then you will not get the much difference why it is so because we haven't applied a style sheet over here a style sheet or CSS is our next course in this web development series so here I will use very minimal style sheet so that I can demonstrate this example properly to make you understand how we can do hyperlinking of HTML fragmented page. So let's create an a CSS file to showcase the example in a more meaningful manner. So here let's create a file CSS file. To create it we need to write the name dot and extension should be CSS. Now we will link this CSS file first so that we will use it to do that. If you have remember in the head section I have explained you we can use the link tag so here I have written link rel style sheets fragment.css just save it now go to the fragment.css file and let me write it and then I will come back if you are not understanding any of the code which is coming in this file then don't worry that is our second course discussion so I have written over here so we have a yellow block of paragraph which we are referring over here you can see that this is a paragraph tag and we are calling it as there is a class called yellow block so that's what we are referring that whenever any paragraph any paragraph tag is having a yellow block class then this formatting should be applied and if any paragraph contains the class red block so it will apply this formatting if you are not understanding any of the term like classes and all don't worry we are going to take care of this thing in the second course for a time being just remember that the help of these two things we can easily format or beautify our html page so let's look into the output how the output is coming now refresh the page so here you will find that we have given the height properties because of that this yellow block is taking that much of a space and the same with the red block so now when you click on skip to page height if you click on it it will take us to the this location now click on this it will take us to this location so we are into the same page but it is fragmented and within the hyperlink we are accessing the fragment of the web page so click on it so it is taking back to, to the yellow block so now let's look into the code and understand it so here you will find that we have specified the id the id is top there is an anchor tag and each anchor tag is having an id and that we are referring while accessing the fragmented location for example this anchor tag id is top so we are telling that whenever this hyperlink is being clicked it should go to this id so it is taking us to this location same is the case with this one whenever if anybody is clicking on skip to page foot then it will taking us to this id this anchor id so with the help of this fragmentation technique you can easily navigate from one location of page to another location of the page so let's proceed further so now we will look into an example where we can insert an image and that image we can use as an hyperlink so for this we will use the same example we have used earlier that is first and second not html page we will use so to keep the image what we will do we will create a folder this is the file sorry for that we need to create a folder so we will tell that images and here we will put an image so let me put the image so I have put the image so this is the image we are having so now what we will do we will insert this image into first.html and whenever I will click on image it will take us to the second.html so let's do it so to do that let's go into the first.html and within that here we will remove this one and we will insert an image so let's do it it's img the sources our images html icon.png all equal to html5 html5 you can specify height and width as well close it save it let's jump into the browser try to going into the browser copy the path here paste it enter so it has given this image so click on it it will take us to the second.html again click on this so the size of the image is very huge so we can manage it. its height and width by this way come here and you can specify height equal to 200 width we need 
to a specify width equal to 100 now go back to browser refresh it so this way we can manage the height and width so let's go back to the topic to wrap the session so here we have learned about how to create hyperlink we have also discussed about how to access the link then we have also discussed about how to do page fragmentation and we can use the hyperlinking of those fragmented location and at last we have also seen how we can do hyperlinking for images within html5 on this notes i am stopping over here see you in the next session till then bye bye take care